Part 6, how long can I possibly make this build last? In this video, we're going to address our wheels and suspension, rebuild the front forks, inspect the rear suspension, and put new rubber on this machine. Our first order of business was to remove the old rotted OEM tires off of the rims and clean up any corrosion that lays beneath before placing new tubes and tires on them. Using a tire balancer as a way to hold and rotate the wheel, we make quick work of the corrosion with a wire wheel on a drill. Hey, that did a pretty good job. Let me just do that. Did it? Yeah. That, that oh. cleared it up pretty well. Do you hold the rim? No. Oh, why okay. would you do? Uh <laughs> With the rim all cleaned up, it's time to install the new tires. We chose to go with the Avon Roadrider AM26 due to its price point and availability. With the tires mounted and ready to go, it was now time to disassemble all the suspension components, polish them, and rebuild where necessary. While the front end was disassembled, we decided to go ahead and replace the steering stem bearings with roller bearings. <laughs> Using the socket and mallet method to drive the new bearing races, the steering on this bike has never felt better. Disassembly of the rear shocks is very simple. Place them on their lowest pretension setting and compress the shock while someone removes the retaining collars. Time to use our copper wire wheel to remove the year's worth of grease and grime. <laughs> Okay. 
warning. This product can expose you to chemicals, including lead, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer. Well, shoot, guess it's a good thing I don't live in California, ain't it? The wire wheel does a pretty good job at removing some of the heavier surface rust. I found that using something a bit softer like a scotch Bright pad does a better job on less corroded surfaces. You know, the rear brake looks very familiar. I'll bet this bike can do the Kessel Run in under 12 parsecs. The rebuilt fork is on the left. It doesn't look like a golden O-Lens, it works though. We didn't film the fork rebuild because I fucking hate doing forks. If you want to know how to rebuild these forks, punch yourself in the dick as hard as you can. Ah, eh, these really weren't that bad though. If you somehow made it to the end of this long video, thank you. Subscribe for more. The reassembly is coming next.